Hi, I am Deborah Viglione, and I am going to educate you tonight um, on the latest and greatest in anti-aging. I'm so excited. I know it's complicated, and I'm going to try to make it as simple as possible because this is really, really big stuff. So I'm going to start with my uh, shared screen so you can see my slides. <clears throat> Okay, so what I'm calling this is NAD, the fountain of youth. And what we're going to talk about tonight is activating your sirtuin genes. Now, this is purely for educational purposes. Uh, none of these statements I'm making have been evaluated by the FDA, and this is not meant to cure, mitigate, or prevent disease. It's purely to educate you on the latest and greatest in anti-aging. Okay, so I'm Deborah Viglione. I'm board certified in internal medicine by the American Board of Internal Medicine, but I'm also secondarily board certified in anti-aging regenerative medicine by A4M. <clears throat> and I practice in uh, generally sunny Gulf Breeze, Florida on the Panhandle right on the Gulf of Mexico and it's beautiful here. Okay, so what is NAD? We don't want to say NAD, we just want to say NAD. It's nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide and you do not have to remember that, just NAD. I'm going to go through this pretty fast, but it's found in every living cell absolutely necessary for life because it really manages all our energy and we would literally die within seconds if we did not have NAD and the sirtuin genes which we're going to talk about require NAD to work okay so what are these wonderful sirtuin genes that everybody's talking about they are considered longevity genes they're also known as a cellular guardian or housekeeper they protect us from DNA damage they increase when we increase our activity, multiple animal studies have uh, shown increased lifespan, and it reduces the age-related loss in function as we get older. Everybody wants to avoid that. They want to feel young. They want to operate like they did when they were 20. <clears throat> so this is what happens as you age. Naturally, the sirtuin activity goes down. So you're running about a 40% decrease at age 50, and by age 80, it can be any, up to 98%, which is horrible. And that's really why, as people get older, they don't have the energy. They don't do the things that they used to do when they were younger. <clears throat> now, this is a bit complicated, but I'm going to go into it and try to explain it a little bit in detail. And the reason being, if you get into the anti-aging biohacking realm, you're going to start hearing these terms over and over. So I want you to be familiar with them. And this kind of shows you the pathway of activating CERT1. There, I believe there are six sirtuins that we know of, but CERT1 is the one that's talked about the most because that has the influence on aging. But you're going to hear the terms AMPK, NAD, NADH, CERT1, uh, PGC1-alpha over here at the bottom with mitochondrial physiology, gluconeogenesis, lipid homeostasis, FOXO, NF-kappa-beta, P53. I know those are all kind of um, science -y type terms, but you will hear them as you, you get further along in the world. Now I'm just gonna tell you briefly what they are. Okay, so AMPK is an enzyme that improves your metabolism. So that's a good thing. So it's gonna help protect you against obesity, diabetes, helps you reduce your abdominal fat, and it increases your number of mitochondria, and that's called mitochondrial biogenesis, making more. Those naturally decline as a result of oxidative stress as you get older, and so you wanna make more so that you can sustain that energy that you had when you were younger. And the activity of AMPK increases with fasting. That's why there's a big buzz on calorie restriction and intermittent fasting. Intermittent fasting people are using to activate um, autophagy, which is basically getting the trash out of the body, and that's been associated with longevity. It's also helpful in maintaining cholesterol, lipids um, in the normal range, and helping to prevent diabetes, helping get rid of the abdominal fats. So it's a, it's a big deal. But fasting isn't very fun. It's also increased with exercise, and there's, it's associated with a decrease in mTOR, which I'm gonna talk about a little bit more. But the big thing is NAD promotes AMPK activity. So that's one role of it, NAD. Another role is the P53 tumor suppressor gene. So activating the CERT1 will increase this, and that repairs damaged DNA and protects against cancer initiation. Because when DNA is damaged, then the cell can mutate and turn into a cancer cell. NAD helps modulate this gene, keep it in balance, make it work when it's supposed to. <clears throat> NF-kappa-beta is nuclear factor kappa-beta, but it's just NF-kappa-beta. That is the big inflammatory gene that everybody talks about, cytokines and NF-kappa-beta, that that induces major inflammation in the body, 
It's a huge factor in chronic inflammation, and chronic inflammation leads to premature aging and multiple diseases. And the, one of the roles of NAD is to inhibit NF-kappa beta, so that's a good thing. mTOR. mTOR is very complicated. Body needs that. It's basically, it controls construction and destruction. Construction is needed to build the body up, protein synthesis to grow, but as we get older, overactivation or chronic activation of that leads to inflammation, disease, and aging. So NAD helps inhibit. There was a study that showed um, <coughs> rapamycin and a natural uh, supplement actually extended life with mTOR in inhibition. And you don't want to get rid of it, you just want to keep it in balance. So it, um, yeah, I already said that, okay. Inhibition of this has been shown to extend life in, in mammals. <coughs> PGC1 alpha, that is a marker of making more mitochondria or mitochondrial biogenesis. It's also important in modulating your glucose and lipid metabolism. This is something else that NAD does. Now, what are the benefits of boosting NAD and sirtuin activity? Well, we talked about earlier that they're a housekeeping. They get rid of old damaged mitochondria and make new ones. That's called mitophagy, just like autophagy is getting rid of the trash, the old mitochondria, and helping you grow new healthy ones. Old damaged mitochondria lead to initiation of cancer in a cell, and you don't want to do that. It also helps rejuvenate aging bone marrow cells, helps the immune system, stem cells, improves muscular function, improves liver inflammation and liver mitochondria. And at the bottom, you can see that bean state shaped structure, that is a mitochondria, and they are the powerhouse of energy for the cell. Other benefits of increasing NAD improve some stem cells. Stem cells are what make all the other cells in your body, and once you deplete all your stem cells, you're gonna die, so you need to continue to rejuvenate and make more. NAD has been shown to be integral in doing that in the muscle, skin, brain, and gut, and probably other tissues as well. <clears throat> Additional benefits, <coughs> sorry, and boosting NAD and sirtuin activity or an increased physical performance, particularly in the older group, cognitive improvement. There's some studies on animals with Alzheimer disease and plaque formation, amyloid plaques that are reduced with uh, NAD, improved blood sugar levels. There's studies in animals that show a uh, decreased incidence of diabetes, helps protect the cardiovascular system. There's some studies showing in the, studies, uh, in the setting of an acute heart attack that actually improved blood flow to the heart. And it helps improve sleep quality, and sleep is hugely important in maintaining a healthy immune system and a healthy body. And it's extended lifespan uh, in mice, yeast, worms, and fruit flies. Now, an interesting thing is these studies were all done with something called nicotine riboside, which is a supplement which affected the sirtuin pathways. I'm gonna tell you a little bit more. So the ways you can boost NAD and sirtuin activity are calorie restriction. Um, basically, that is not fun. You can exercise, and I love to exercise, but I know that's not one of everybody's favorite things to do. Resveratrol, which is found in the, the seeds, or the seeds and the um, skin of grapes, it's in red wine, has also been shown to increase sirtuin activity. Uh, the studies are, are kind of conflicting there. Um, what you get when you drink red wine is not, they've not been able to really mimic that in the supplement realm very well. And then the latest uh, buzz that started all this was nicotine riboside, or NR, boosting NAD production 51%. And that sounds like it's a great thing, but I'm going to show you something even better. There's a novel new product that's uh, activating versus supplementing. Okay, so the sirtuins over here on the left, you can increase their activity by doing a water fast for, nine, uh, for 72 hours, and you'll increase sirtuin activity 94%. Well, one, that's no fun. And you can't fast for 72 hours on a regular basis or you'll become nutrient depleted and that's not defeating the point. Over here on the right, you can see um, kind of a graph showing the different ways to increase the AMPK, increase the NAD and the CERT. In the bottom, these are markers of mitochondrial biogenesis, uh, healthy sugar balance, oxidative stress. So all of that is good um, by calorie restriction, but we gotta figure out a better way. Okay, so this is what happens with nicotine riboside. Over on that left, these fancy words here, that's just food. So food naturally induces this enzyme called acetyl-CoA, which then goes into the citric acid cycle, which is the way we make the most of our energy, 
NAD is integral in that pathway, and then we make more energy through what they call the electron transport change. NAD is necessary for all of this, and if we didn't have the NAD that turns into NADH, we would die. Okay, over here, you're gonna see why nicotine riboside, even though it caught, it's shown wonderful things in animal studies, it's not as good as we can do. And that is because right here, NR, you can see, is going to NMN. Okay, and I've got an arrow here because this is showing that this is a rate-limiting step. Okay, so you can give a lot of NR right here, but this NMN is going to restrict the amount that actually can go in and make NAD. Why is this important? Because here's a graph showing on the left calorie restriction, that's 72 hours to increase sirtuin activity 94%. Then we, with this new NAD activator, uh, natural compound, it increased sirtuin activity 100% in just 24 hours. That was two capsules in 24 hours beat 72 hours of fasting. That's incredible. That is history, that is news, that is something absolutely amazing. I can't wait to see what this product is gonna do over time. This is the nicotine riboside right here, the 2%. So even though it increased NAD in the studies in mice, only 2% of, um, of uh, sirtuin activity, and that's really what we're going for. So even all those benefits you saw were just a 2% augmentation. Think what doing 100% is gonna do. Okay, so this is to make it simple. You've got a conveyor belt with bricks on it, okay? So when you do nicotine riboside, you're putting more bricks on the conveyor belt, but the conveyor belt is running at a fixed speed. So once it gets to the other end where the workers take the bricks off and make something out of them, you're gonna augment the activity a little bit once it gets there. But when you take an activator, you're increasing the speed of the conveyor belt. That's why there's such a big difference with the new product out there versus the nicotine riboside. Okay, so summary, why is this important? We saw all the wonderful things that SIR2 and activity does. So we definitely wanna do that. We want to live a longer, well, we wanna do increase our health span. That means being healthy for as long as we can. And as biohackers, we want to be the best version of ourselves as we can possibly be using science and technology. So now we have new technology. So that you know that the new product out there increases sirtuin activity 100% just 24 hours without fasting. That is phenomenal. So we're increasing the speed of that conveyor belt. Nicotine riboside is great, but only does it 2%. So do you want 100% or do you want 2%? So since this is purely an educational video, I can't share more with you, but if you'd like to learn more about what we're talking about, you can email at deviglione at gmail.com. Thank you so much for tuning in, and um, we'll see you next time when I decide to make another video.